A tragedy on Long Island has left a family grieving and a community questioning safety protocols at a medical facility. On July 16th, 61-year-old Keith McAllister died after being pulled into an MRI machine at Nassau Open MRI in Westbury, New York. He was wearing a heavy 20. Pound metal chain used for weight training when the machine's magnetic field yanked him in. The violent pull caused a medical emergency, leaving him critically injured and leading to his death the next day. According to Nassau County Police, McAllister was not scheduled for a scan. Oh. He had accompanied his wife, who was undergoing a knee. Mr. I. During the procedure, his wife asked a technician to bring him inside the room to comfort her. Despite standard rules that restrict entry for anyone carrying metal, McAllister was allowed into the scanner room wearing the large chain. Witnesses said the powerful magnet immediately attracted the chain, pulling both the chain and McAllister toward the machine with immense force. His wife, who was on the table for her scan, later recalled watching in shock as he was pulled forward. She said he gave a small wave before collapsing and going limp. Staff and emergency responders rushed to free him from the machine. <laughs> Paramedics transported him to a nearby hospital where he suffered multiple heart attacks. He was initially listed in critical condition, but despite medical efforts, he was pronounced dead on July 17th at 2.36 in the afternoon. Police have not disclosed the full extent of his injuries. They confirmed there is no criminal suspicion, but the Nassau County Homicide Squad is investigating whether safety protocols were followed by staff at the facility. Investigators are examining why McAllister was allowed into the magnetically active area with a large metal object, despite well-known screening rules. His wife has stated that staff had already noticed the chain earlier and were aware of its weight, raising questions about why precautions were not enforced. Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or MRI, is a diagnostic technology used to capture detailed internal images without radiation, relies on extremely strong magnets that generate a powerful field. When a metallic object enters this field, it can be drawn toward the magnet with dangerous speed, turning the object into a projectile. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration tracks hundreds of MRI-related incidents each year, most involving minor burns or items being pulled toward the machine. Fatal events while rare, do occur. In a widely cited case from 2001, a six-year-old boy in New York died after an oxygen tank was pulled into an MRI machine, striking him. Experts note that MRI magnets can be strong enough to move heavy equipment across a room. Patients and anyone entering an MRI suite are supposed to be screened carefully for any metal, including jewelry, medical implants, and even small objects like pens or hairpins. Weight training chains, like the one McAllister wore, are among. The most dangerous items in such settings, because of their size and mass, the investigation into Mice Glester's death is ongoing. Nassau Open MRI has not issued a public statement and requests for comment from reporters have gone unanswered. As his family mourns, the case underscores the importance of strict safety procedures in MRI facilities. Even one lapse can turn. A routine scan into a life-threatening situation. This incident serves as a stark reminder that these machines, while life-saving in purpose, demand careful respect to prevent another tragedy like this one.